That's what we need in our fashion today and in our styles. We don't have to live by just what everyone else is dressing like. I think that it brings that lightness from the pants up through the top of the outfit. If you think of things like composition and balance, then having a thicker bag for an outfit like this is so casual and so fun. It's a little bit less serious than some of my other hats. It kind of creates that mystery still of like, who is she? Hi guys, today I'm bringing you another outfit of the week video. I'll be running this from Monday through Friday this week. And so by the time you see this, you will have seen my past week. This has been a long, cold stretch here in Nashville. I mean, we're used to seeing like 80s and 90s and I would have generally been wearing shorts and um, some like really breathable like summery pieces but today i am layering on a lot of different things and i just wanted to come at this with the approach of just showing you how to dress in layers where you still feel warm yet everything is breathable. So that will be the goal of this week. Today, being Monday, it's gonna be a high of 68. I will be at home at my desk a lot, I'll be reading a lot, and I'll be running to get coffee. So that's what this outfit is designed for, if you will. <laughs> for this outfit, I am layering a cropped long sleeve tee, and it's in this like micro rib sort of weave fabric, um, but that is from Aritzia. I got that a while back, but I wanted to layer it with something that whenever I wear cropped things, I like to have a high-waisted pant. High-waisted in general works really well for somebody like me who is pear-shaped, who also wants to lengthen their legs. I've got a long torso, so that's really my approach when it comes to pants. I also liked how the pants had a shared sort of button between that and what's on my cardigan, but I'll get to that in a second. My boots are more in the shade of my shirt. So I wanted to have that repeat. The boots are from Aldo. I got them last fall and I've been wearing them all through fall, winter, and now into spring in different ways that I've just been inspired to reinvent. They create this sort of different look than if I had chosen a sneaker, a mule, or anything else. They've got a mood to them for sure. Then on top, I'm layering with the Tradlands Shelter Cardigan. This is in the shade Burnt Sienna, which I was very drawn toward. They're actually the sponsor of today's video, so I will be sprinkling in some Tradlands pieces throughout this week while still showing how I am putting each outfit together. What I liked about where this cardigan moved the outfit is that because I'm really inspired by the 70s, this cardigan is also inspired by the 70s. The color, the relaxed fit, it, the fact that it's a little bit loose, all are wonderful things. And just having the three buttons is really relaxed in itself too, and in that way, it's not like it's buttoned up to the top like some cardigans are. And just having a loose balloon sleeve that is sort of drop, you know, it's dropped in the shoulder, it's drapey, and then the weight of it really makes it even more drapey. It's therapeutic for how heavy it feels. I also like that it's all very breathable. Nothing on here, except for the cotton canvas, is not breathable, but it's all comfortable to wear, it's washable, and it's something that if I, like, why I say washable is if I needed to, if I found that I sweat a little bit that day, then I would be fine. I could just wash it, throw it in the wash, and just be totally cool. So those are the ways that I try to layer with pieces for days like today. If you have followed this channel for a while, you will know that Tradlands has been a brand that I have stuck with since day one. So if you're OG to this channel, you will have seen them before. I like the fact that they are very a durable brand. Like they make stuff to last for a hundred wears. And then if you ever grow sick of it, they've got an exchange, pro well not an exchange program. It's like a place where you can then go and sell your pieces back. Um, to the Tradlands community. So that sort of offsets some costs as well. For this outfit, I wanted to also accessorize with some beige or blush pieces. So starting with the hat, um, this one is from Lack of Color. I think that it brings that lightness from the pants 
up through the top of the outfit. And then for the bag, in order to match the hat to the bag, I'm wearing this one from Polen. It's again in this sort of beige blush tone. It's almost a cool blush, but I think that it still has some more yellow tones to it with especially the gold accents. So that really works for my skin tone and with in keeping with the rust tone of this outfit. So hopefully that explains like the colors and how I chose them and how I put them together, even how I layered them. I'm sort of color blocking, which isn't necessarily one of my techniques for looking taller, but I'm taking the hit because I just think that having a repetition of color is even more important. For today's outfit, I wanted something that would work for weather that's a little bit warmer out. And also I wanted to answer some questions as far as what do I do if I want to not tuck in my top? A lot of people don't like to enjoy like tucking in their tops for different reasons. I totally get that. I don't always want to either. So this is how I'm wearing this outfit. I'm going to start with a really loose fitting top. This is the Chilin's box top. It's designed to be a relaxed fit. So what I'm going to do is just leave a few buttons buttoned, which you can definitely tell when they are because this one has such light buttons compared to the fabric. And I'm not going to button the rest of them. I'm gonna leave that open right where the pants start to meet the shirt. And then that can just be breezy. If the breeze comes through, then it just has this vacation relaxed vibe going on. Also, the way that I am styling this shirt is on purpose. So one thing that I'm doing is I'm leaving this neckline more of a V neckline by leaving the collar flat. And all I do is in the back of the shirt, I use my thumbs and I just try to fold the back of the collar to make the rest of the collar lay flat. I'm not like then ironing it flat or anything like that. I'm also going to roll the sleeves up a little bit and that just makes the shirt feel a little bit more my size, if you will. Like when I'm doing oversized, I also want to be making it feel like it is a natural fit for me. So that's something that I am intentionally doing. And then for the pants, I wanted to match that to the top because if I'm ever like going against the grain on some look taller rules, then I do want to incorporate at least one or two. So looking taller incorporates the monochrome as well as the V shape, which will elongate. But also I want to then work with my footwear. So these are flat. They don't have any heel to them today. Also, I want to just have them match my skin tone since these pants are a little bit cropped up. Some people think as a petite that they can never wear cropped pants, that it has to like be the exact right length. That's not necessarily always true either. There are different lengths of pants that work for petites, including when you show a little bit of ankle. Anytime that you show skin, that is going to make your clothes feel like they fit you properly and will further elongate. For the hat, I wanted to match them more to the shoes because I've got something that isn't really anywhere else in the outfit color-wise. I'm going to be sort of working with those two elements. The texture is incredibly similar between the straw and the texture of the shoes. And then to further incorporate a little bit of a feminine aspect, I wanted to have this bag. This one, out of all my bags, is probably the most feminine because it just looks like something that's old Hollywood. So this outfit's a little bit California. I wanted to move it feminine. I wanted it to move it uh, like maybe even a little vintage. So having something like this puts the outfit in a different perspective. And old Hollywood is kind of that lens that I'm using with that. The hat itself is a little bit Casablanca too. And it's got that black strap. So there's elements throughout the outfit that are rep a repetition, both in color and in texture. And I'm working with things that are masculine and feminine. And I'm doing them, you know, in ways that I want to break the rules and then also respecting some of the guidelines on how to look taller. I also just further want to point out the fact that because the outfit itself doesn't have a strong range of textures between the two fabrics, that through accessories, through the hat, purse, and shoes, 
as well as jewelry, <laughs> I'm adding little glimmers of texture and more something that I like the, the idea that texture has this like tactile, like you can feel it, you know, by looking at it. It has something that has a depth to it. That's what we need in our fashion today and in our styles. We don't have to live by just what everyone else is dressing like. We can actually incorporate things that feel natural to us. So if straw isn't necessarily your game, you can find a texture that really means a lot to you like velvet. For today's outfit, this is a really good example of how to dress when you don't want to wear too many layers and still feel comfortable. The way that this outfit is constructed is I am having some lightweight pants and then a very drapey, very thick crew neck on top. The fabric of the crew neck is very breathable because it has such a wide knit. And then what I'm letting it do, since it's an oversized fit, is I'm just going to French tuck it right near the belly button and then let the rest drape. This crew neck is from Chadlands and it's in this color Storm which is very similar to like um, a charcoal gray, but it's very much more toward the char side because it's just got just the tiniest bit of a brown sort of tone to it. That moves very well into the pants. So the pants are old, they are silk, and I take very good care of them. They would probably stain pretty easily, but I just take them in mint condition. Like I don't want anything getting on them, so I am very, very careful with them. With that too, I have them cropped up, so that allows, again, just like yesterday, a way to have a lighter shoe on bottom. This outfit could have had any sort of shoe, but having a pointed flat in a lighter color that matches my skin tone seemed to be the one that was the most elegant. These ones are from Cezanne. I recently have not been shopping so much from Cezanne, but this was something that I felt like it could really match my style and work for outfits like this one. Of course, I want to tie in some colors throughout the outfit. So what I'm doing here is the hat that I'm wearing today from GG Pip. It is in the same sort of color range as the pant, especially the ribbon that's around the crown of the hat. It has the same color as the pant. And then to tie the outfit together a little bit more, this is a bandana from Ozma and that incorporates the color of the pants as well as the sort of charcoal gray tones that are in the sweater. What's cool about the way that I styled that, anybody could have just put a scarf on, but I liked the idea of just having this square knot in the front that almost looks like a sort of bow tie or just something that felt a little bit more in keeping with the mood of this outfit. Altogether, I've got something that still elongates while feeling comfortable. It's slouchy and drapey and just in the vibe of the comfort chic sort of design that I have been reaching toward lately. I also wanted to talk through my bag choice as well as my jewelry. So you might have seen this bag recently from my what's in my bag video. If you haven't, check that out. It has a good size and color for this outfit because if you think of things like composition and balance, then having a thicker bag for an outfit like this really works. For my everyday jewelry, I've just got a range of rings that have more of an organic shape to them. And then I wanted to have something that was also chunky and drapey for my bracelet. So that's similar to the fabric choice of my sweater. And then I've just got on a few necklaces, nothing that would compete too much with everything else going on around my neck. Today is a solid work day here, so I just thought that I would invite you into a little corner of my space where all of the editing happens for this channel. Zach and I work together here, so I wanted an outfit today that would really work for just sitting comfortably but still upright. I've got some high-waisted pants that are definitely doing the job. I wanted an outfit too that would help me to stay focused and motivated, and so the best way that I like to do that is through enclosed cognition. You guys have probably heard me talk about that before, but it's where what you are physically wearing starts to interact with the way that you approach your day 
with your cognitive abilities and so much more. It's been really interesting and I've been studying that concept more this week actually. The shirt that I'm wearing is similar to the box top before from Tradlands but it's in the color meringue and so I'm kind of working that color throughout the rest of my outfit today. What I am doing here is I'm fully tucking in this top I feel like it's a very flattering look for these pants. These are the Jessie Cam Sailors in American denim. They were a treasure that I got three years ago and I'm still wearing them. I probably will for the next several years to be honest. They just kind of get more comfortable with time as denim should. She is going to restock these in Japanese denim which is very similar just very soon. So if they haven't restocked just yet, um, it's a small team so just look later. And then also for the rest of the outfit, I want something comfortable but still if I want to run out and get coffee or like run errands. Those are very typical things that I have to do almost daily. So that's what I'm prepared for here. I'm wearing the same bag as I did earlier in the week, which is the Demillier bag. Uh, it's just such a lovely classic feminine take on a purse and it matches so much more than I imagined that it would. I also think that it's just going to be a style that I get to keep for years and that's really the whole heart of this video like everything that I've been showing is something that I would wear on repeat for several times for several years because it is timeless and versatile. Then for my hat choice I'm wearing this one today from Jenny Kane. This is in cotton canvas. I just think that having a sun hat like this is so casual and so fun. It's a little bit less serious than some of my other hats. Uh, but it kind of creates that mystery still that sun hats are known for of like who is she and it's perfect for summer keeps the sun off your face of course in general I think that hats just add a uniqueness to my outfits and that's why I've been wearing them all the time lately they just have been a game changer for my style for my shoes today I'm wearing these ones from dear Francis Zach surprised me with these for my birthday. I did not think that he was going to give me another gift. I mean, we had done enough, but he surprised me and I just have been wearing them all the time when I'm at home. They're my new house shoe. I love that they are this knotted leather. I've been seeing a lot of shoes like this recently and I'm so happy to have a pair now. They're supposed to feel like walking on clouds. I would definitely say that's true. It's got a good bit of flexibility to it. It's not like a cumbersome amount of fabric. So yeah, I just have loved these and so thanks babe. It's our anniversary week too, so I'm feeling a little mushy. <laughs> so again, those shoes just added a little bit of femininity like the purse did, and so that's where I moved this outfit while still sitting comfortably and going about my day. Then for my jewelry, I'm kind of wearing the same statement rings, which you guys know I love to do, but finding the exact ones that I want to wear that day still keeps things a little bit fresh for me. And then for my necklaces, um, I am wearing some, but whenever I can, I like to wear this gold choker. That was from Jenny Bird. Anytime that I can wear it, I just add so much. It's a game-changing piece for this outfit. And then just having only this denim be the only other color, it just lets that color stand alone and it definitely goes for that 70s vibe that I was talking about earlier in the week. Happy Friday! For this outfit, it is casual and yet still businessy because I'm wearing a tee with some trousers and the design of it is really fun to play with too. So I'll explain that in a second. This is the Tradlands 102 box tee. I feel like it's perfectly retro. That's why I was drawn to it. I love the color scheme too with the black sleeves. It's very durable and not see-through. It's very thick but still breathable. The seams inside are overlocked so it's really going to last and stand the test of time. And 
I feel like with the sleeve design, it's going to mask stains as well. For it, I wanted to have something that would still support me with my work day. So I'm wearing a trouser. I have to say that before I started my career, I never wore a trouser. And I felt as soon as I got my first pair, I was like, I've been missing out because they feel like pajama pants. They are so comfortable and loose and they just feel good and you still feel professional. And so the way that I'm working with the design here is I'm taking this sort of inspiration from the sleeves and I'm moving it throughout the outfit. So I've got this black belt here that's very wide, I would say, and it keeps definitely these looser trousers up, but it cinches at the waist too, and it just, again, carries that design through. Also for my shoes, I wanted something that would keep my feet propped off the ground because that helps me with my knees feeling good if I'm sitting for a long time. You petite girls know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. <laughs> we get some knee pain if our feet don't touch the ground. So having something that props up my feet is really good. And then it carries the design through. It's casual. It's, of course, having that open toe feels really great for days like today that happen to be a little bit on the warmer side. Then for my jewelry, I wanted geometric shapes. I didn't want things that were more free form or something that looked uh, hand carved so much. So I actually stole Zach's necklace today and that carries through both the color and the geometric shape that I'm looking for. I also chose rings that were either carrying through the rectangular stripe or else things that are circular. So that was more on purpose. Now to contrast the sort of casual and minimal and modern take on this outfit, I wanted to also incorporate something that was a little bit more feminine while still having drama. So I used this little scrunchie here. It's a silk scrunchie that I got from Etsy. And I would say if you are working at your desk that this is a really good idea because it will cushion your wrist and so that's kind of just a little life hack. For the rest of my outfit, I wanted a hat that would be structural yet not too formal. I didn't want a fedora, I didn't want a sun hat, so this is right in between. Um, this is a Janessa Leon straw hat and the color is dramatic as well as the high crown. So again, I'm taking something that would be casual and I'm adding some drama. It is worn a couple ways, you can wear it with the brim down or you can have it up if you want to just be able to show your face a little bit more. So it's up to you how you want to wear it in that moment. And for my bag choice, I wanted to have something that was large enough to just have at my desk and have everything I need for the day. I don't wanna be searching around for my phone, that type of thing. And so this is my Parisa Wang backpack. It can be carried just by the handle here or as a shoulder bag if you want to adjust the straps to be one or you can have it as a book bag. A lot of you guys have asked me for bag options that are backpacks and this one is definitely a more business appropriate version. I don't feel like it's too big on me, which I'm small, so having something this size is great. And then I would say like the way that it matches my outfit almost looks like I planned my outfit around the bag, like I reverse engineered it, but I didn't. This was something that just matched perfectly. I would say that it's almost like too perfectly matching and I think I'm okay with that. And so again, it's it's minimal, it's modern, but it's also very professional because of the way that it's designed and its function is a backpack. So all wins all the way around, matches the jewelry, everything just really came together with this outfit. I'm really happy about it. So if you like this video, if you like outfits of the week, or if you like sort of how I've explained through my little tips, through each outfit this week, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thank you to Tradlands for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.